um, Pastor Lewis to come and give us our brief. And then Brother Joshua Green will give us our welcome in that word. Amen. Amen.
man, we do thank, uh, we do thank Jaden for that announcement. Let's give him another hand. Again, this is so Sunday, youth Sunday. Training our youth, yeah. encouraging them along the way. Yeah. They may not pronounce words as eloquent as some of us do. Amen. And the reality of it is, some of us may not pronounce them as eloquent as, eloquent as some of us do. You see how that worked out. That you see that? So we just encourage one another. We support one another. Yes. That's what yes. we're supposed to do. Yes. Because when we are doing our best for the cause of Christ, we need to encourage one another. Amen. We need to stand supported. Amen. So again, thank you, Jaden, for the announcements Amen. this morning. Again, give all our youth a wonderful hand. God is good. He has blessed us and brought us into another wonderful, marvelous day. I know behind your mask, you may not be able to see your smile, but if you want to, just drop your mask just for a second and show everybody you can smile. Amen. Show everybody you're happy to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 It's good. It's good to be in the house Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Because there are so many that desire to be here today, but for one reason or another, they cannot be here. Amen. Maybe be because of health reasons. Maybe because of transportation. Maybe because of, 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 of caretaking of someone else. But we are here and we are blessed to be in the house of the Lord. So we ought to thank God for another day. We ought to just thank him. As uh, Jaden was reading all the announcements, uh, and say encourage all of Anderson Chapel to make as many and as all and as many of church functions as you can. As has, has been said once, if you can't make them all, don't miss them all. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. We thank you. Amen. We're delighted for this choir. We're delighted for our youth ushers. We thank God for the ministers. We thank you for the deacons, the mothers, Amen. trustees, members, and friends. What a joyous pri pri privilege it is to be in the house of the Lord uh, one more time. Amen. For God has blessed us and brought us a mighty long way. We do celebrate today Father's Day. Happy <coughs> Father's Day to all of you. Amen. 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 Also, today is a celebration of Juneteenth uh, as the time when the last slaves in uh, Galveston, Texas, received word of the Emancipation Proclamation that all Amen. slaves have been freed. Yes. So we yes. do celebrate that today. Uh, we thank God for freeing us. But how many of you know that if you're still bond in sin bond, Jesus. You're not free. Jesus. We celebrate the 4th of July, freedom for the nation. We celebrate Juneteenth, freedom for the slave. Yes. Yes. But if you're still living a life of sin, Jesus. Jesus. you're not free. For Christ came to set us free. So freely he gives today. And will you accept him as Lord and Savior of your life? Now, just before we move forward within the program, we are going to have the welcome by uh, you know, Master Joshua Green, but we're going to offer a prayer. Gracious Father, we come again to say thank you. Father, I thank you for Anderson Chapel, dear Lord. I thank you for those that are joining virtually, dear Lord. We thank you for all the hard work and labor that has went into the various sections of the service today from the choir to the yes. youth, dear Lord, to the Sunday school teachers, to all, dear Lord, that have prepared themselves. Thank now, you. Lord, we come, dear Lord, to worship yes. and to praise you, dear Lord, and to say thank you, Lord, thank for you. all that you have done. Yes. Father, let us put aside self, dear Lord, and let us just focus on you right now. Yes. Father, the author and finisher of our faith. Yes. So, Lord, we invite you to come into the midst of this service. Yes. Use us, Lord, in a mighty way, yes. Father, that we may show the love of Christ within our lives. This is your humble servant's prayer, and we say thank you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, 
Amen. 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 Give my hand as a start.
Cunningham. Our scripture today will come from Sister Janaya Braswell and prayer from Brother Nicholas Todd.
read just a little bit of Psalm 23. Okay? Okay, so I'm going I'm to read it, you know, we're trying to build her up, all right? Amen. Amen. So we're going to read Psalms 23, and it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my yes, life. Yes. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen? Amen. 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 So we read it. We know it's true because it's the word of God. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. 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 Lord, we pray as this day will be good for you, God. And Father God, this will be the best day of our lives for church. Let's be in the house for the Lord one more time to be good. And Father God, I'd like to just say thank you for your glory. And Father God, we just want you forever in our holy Yes. And Father yes. God, yes. this will be a good day, yes. a great day, yes. and the best day. Yes. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more.
Sister Barbara Johnson on the fourth. Brother Christopher Boone, the fifth. Sister Olivia <coughs> Edward, the tenth. Sister Tonetta Flowers, the fourteenth. Brother Dennis Farmer, the eighteenth. Brother Jordan Reeves, the twentieth. And Brother Devante Dupree, the twenty-fourth. Amen. Any other birthdays in the month of June? I have a sister, her birthday is June the 1st. She was 77 years old. Amen. <coughs> Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my children's birthday was June the 5th. My son was 54. My daughter's birthday was June the 6th. She was 51. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Any others? Oh, our son, Mark West, his birthday was the 11th. He was 35. Let's say happy birthday. Present one to um, Brother Nancy. 
Can you come present one, two? Um, where did you get Okay. <laughs> Hold on one second. Um, Jalea. can you come present one to Brother Winston? <coughs> oh, no, I don't know, but I feel like I am. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember. Jaden. Her name's Jaden. Jaden. Can you present one to uh, Brother Lewis? He's all the way in the back. Okay. <laughs> After Shania read her poem, when you can get back in here, we'll present him with his. But we also have some extra ones. Oh, <laughs> one of the grandbabies, can you present one to your grandfather, um, brother? <laughs> 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 um, brother Farm, I done been around some people that's a little age, so you know how that goes. <laughs> okay, Deacon Ricks is back. Can we present one to Deacon Ricks? Go ahead, Jalea. 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 Delia, uh-huh. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I make up some names. Because <laughs> I got Shakaya Delia. <laughs> Amen. Uh, a month ago, uh, Tanaya, she came and she wanted to unite with Anderson Chapel. Amen. At that point in time, we say that we would fellowship her in today. Jesus. So today we are here. We are so thankful. Look at a little smile on her face. Look at that smile on her face. We are thankful for 
Sanaya this morning. She has previously already accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. She has been baptized. She united with another church. But on last third Sunday, she came on the 15th day of May and said she wanted to unite with Anderson Chapel. And we were so delighted to have her to come in. And this certificate, this certificate states that Shania Brown has publicly confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and has been received into full membership. You know what it means, full membership? It means that you have just as much right and privilege as any and everyone else in this body. Now, Mother Dupree is standing over to your, to your left here. She's not the eldest member of the church, but she is older than you. You both have the same right. Amen. You both have a vote. You both have a say. And you both have accepted Jesus as Lord and yes. Savior. Amen. So you have full membership. I know sometimes we look and say that, the, you know, the young people, they don't know. They don't know. Yeah, a lot of things that young people don't know. But there's some things that old people don't know. Amen. Amen. And, you know, they can be taught sometimes. If we listen one to another, we can we can grow together. Yes, yes. Full membership of the Anderson Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. And this is the 15th day of May, 2022, and uh, Pastor Emmy Lewis. And, uh, and uh, we just want to present this to you today. I'm going to leave it in this folder here. And uh, now extend the right hand of fellowship to you. Welcome you into the fellowship of Anderson Chapel. Yes. Now, we do have a Bible and a hymn book mm -hmm. that we will present to you next month. I didn't follow through to make sure that they was here today, so we will uh, present them to you next month. As a matter of fact, we have all of our youth that have uh, recently come into the fellowship that have uh, accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior and United Families and Chapel. We want to present all the youth with the songbook and a hymn. And at that point in time, when we present those to you, we will go over the instructions for that. But today, we welcome you into the body of Anderson Chapel. Give Sonia a hand. Give God a hand. The blessing of this young people, because without the young people, we perish, Amen. whether you accept it or not. So we have new growth. We are growing, and we yes. thank God for yes. them. At this time, um, I'm going to ask the mother that's standing here and the deacon that's standing here to uh, extend their right hand to you first, yes. and then we're going to ask the ministers, yes. then the deacons, yes. then the choir, mm -hmm. and then the congregation. Yes. The mm -hmm. ushers yes. will usher you in that order. Amen. 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 We you here to our church and we are glad to have you here and continue to use what we know. Amen. 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 Come on, Madam Sister. Yes. Amen. Quiet, you can give us a little music. I can be Brother, 
Even if your brother may not come you look at him and he'll calm your head. You know just what you need. He's a strong wind in a time of trouble. Even if you've got enemies, well, has anybody that been there before and that day? He's alright. Hey, alright. He's 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 and you ain't got him nowhere else. He in a scroll in the dark over When you spend it on someone else. Well, everybody's that been that before and that day. Come back in the morning. 
Carney, Reverend Walter Cherry Jr., Sister Chaquinta Dickens, Brother Tyrone Everett, Sister Alicia Eaton, Sister Fanny Ruth Farmer, Brother Jesse Fleming, Sister Ida Girl Johnson Jackson, Sister Jackie Jackson, Dickon J. May, Sister Dawla McLawrence, Sister Connie Puritan, Sister Sabria Turner, Sister Laura Willoughby, Sister Betty Wooten, and Brother Bobby Wooten Jr. Altar call. A time when we come to God and we lay down every yes. burden. We present all the baggage that we carry and we give it unto God yes. so that our hearts and our minds are free that we may worship him in spirit and in truth. How many of you know if you are bound, you are held back from giving God what he fully deserves? Amen. But when you release it yes, and Lord. you let it go, then you can give him all the praise and honor that he is due. So at this time, we pray that you just let it go. Mm -hmm. Let it go. <clears throat> let it go. And I see uh, uh, Chaplain uh, Sister Glenda Jackson is here with us today. So Chaplain Jackson, if you don't mind, we're going to ask you to come and share a prayer with us. Will you please come and lead us in prayer? Chaplain Glenda Jackson. Jesus. Amen. being called on all the sick. Lord God, we ask God in heaven that you look down upon us. Yes, Lord. Your weak and little people, yes. God. Mm -hmm. yes. Father God, we ask that you extend your grace, God. Yes. And that you deliver, Father God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Lord God, so many sick all across yes. this land, Lord. Mm -hmm. So much sickness everywhere. Yes. Father God, we ask you to go into the nursing homes, Lord. Yes. Father God, we ask you to go into the hospitals, Lord God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And we ask, Lord God, that you will touch yes. with the mighty finger of love. Yes. And Lord God, we ask that you will extend that grace, yes. Lord God, yes. upon these little children on yes. this yes. Yes. Father God, we thank, thank you for such a beautiful yes. service here yes. today yes. to see the children. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And Father God, we ask this morning, God, that you will extend your finger yes. of love, God. Yes. And your grace upon this man yes. that will bring forth the bread of life for us on today. Yes. Yes. Father God, we thank you for every evangelist that's present yes. on today. God for Lord God, we thank you for every deacon, Lord God. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for every mother. Yes. Lord God, we thank you for every lay member. Yes. Father, yes. Father God, we ask you, God, if you will touch one, that you will touch, touch. us all. Mm -hmm. And Father God, we ask that you continue, God, yes. to bless your people. Yes. Father God, when we come so short, Lord, Jesus. in the name of Jesus, in the name Father of Jesus. God, we ask that you continue to bless us. Yes. And Lord God, you are so good to us. Yes. You are so worthy for every Thank praise. You. Thank and you. Father God, for that, we just want to tell you this morning. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you do for yes. us. Yes. Father yes. God, when we don't even do what we're supposed to do. Yes. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Father God, God, we say, Lord, we thank you, God. Thank you, God. That you extend thank your grace, God, and let us have another yes. day here, Lord. Jesus. And God, that you let us see another day. Yes. Father God, we thank you for our last night's sleep and our last night's yes. Somebody didn't get up this yes. morning. Yes. And we got a reason to give God praise. Yes. Yes. And yes. Father God, I praise you, God, thank for you. another day, Lord. Yes. Yes. And I thank you, Lord, for your many, many blessings. Yes. And Father God, when we come short, yes. and when we yes. don't do what we're supposed to do, yes. Lord God, we ask God that you still, God, yes. extend yes. your grace and your yes. mercy. Yes. And Lord God, forgive us. 
Thank you. Most of all, Lord God, forgive us yes. for all of our sins. Yes. Yes. Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you Lord God, for your son. Thank that you. went on Calvary Hill mm -hmm. for a sinner yes, like each God. and every yes. one of us. Yes, yes. Lord. We just say thank you all today, thank God. You. Thank you. Thank Father God, again, we say forgive us for our sins. Thank you. Jesus. Continue to bless God. Bless yes. this church. Yes. Bless these, these evangelists and these lay members that are working so yes. hard. Yes. And Father God, somebody said this is the children of tomorrow. Jesus. But Lord Jesus. God, we know that these are the children of today. Yes. 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 This is the church of today. Yes. Yes. Father God, we thank you. And thank we ask you to continue you. to bless in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank we thank you, you and we pray.
Thank one more time. One more time. Thank you. One more time. You didn't have to do it. But you did. Quite say, looking back over my life. Yes. 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 You know, some of us sometimes got to look back. Yes. Yes. Just to appreciate where the Lord has brought us to. Yes, sir. Thank when you think of all the mess that He's brought us out of. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And He's still blessing us right now. Thank you, God. Thank you. He didn't bless you because of your mess. Yes. He blessed you through your mess. Yes. Right. He blessed you because for oh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We thank the choir this morning for the whole song. We thank you for you for your participation. Chapter Jackson, we thank you for the prayer. We thank our youth for your service this morning. Don't they look good this morning? Yeah. 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 I know, I know, yeah. I know they're just, just standing right there on the, the, the bench there right there. Brother Nancy stepped out. I wish he was in here right now. So just take a picture of that. Yes. Yeah, just, Amen. Just, we, we talk about black history. Amen. Now that's history right there. All right. Yeah. That's history right yeah. there. So we thank God for thank another God. day and another thank opportunity. You. Father's Day, June 10th. So many things to talk about this morning. But on this day, Nicholas has already prayed that this would be the best day ever. Yes. 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 You know, it's already in one of the top uh, 145,000 uh, I'm 61, so pick it up there. Figure that up there. I mean, <laughs> there's already. Amen, amen. Brother Jackson, Brother Jackson, please get a picture. Please get a picture of those young people sitting right there on that bench. Yeah, yeah I'm going to tell you what to get at the end of this. Amen. amen. I want to do the midst of the service. I want it right now. Oh, okay. I want it right. Right. Bless you. But we thank God. We thank God even in the midst of all of this. If those of you with your Bibles, turn with us, turn with us to the book of 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel, chapter 11. 2 Samuel, chapter 11. And... Verse 15. Pause to give an opportunity to take that historic photo. Today we will share with you the word of God. Second chapter, Samuel, chapter 11, verse 15. And he wrote in a letter, saying, Set you right in the forefront of the hottest battle, and retire ye from him, that he may be smitten. And die. Mm -hmm. Set your eye in the forefront of the hottest battle and retire ye from him that ye he may be smitten and die. The word of God. Is that what your in essence what your reading says? Yes. Pray with us. Merciful Father, Lord, we come at this time to say thank you. Thank you. Father, I thank you for another day that you have blessed us with and allowed us to come into the house of worship. Father, we ask right now that I would touch these, your children. Father, as we shall break the bread of life, dear Lord, send the preacher, the Holy Spirit, and may use my tongue to preach your word. Use my mind as the storehouse of your wisdom. Let that same spirit abide with these, your children, that someone may profess Jesus as Lord of their life. And 
Father, over someone, dear Lord, will look back over their life, dear Lord, and Father, understand and appreciate how they got here, dear Jesus. Lord. Father, that they may focus their future upon you. Yes. Father God, as Nicholas said, that this may be the best yes, yes. of the rest of their life. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And he wrote in a letter saying, Set ye your rock in the forefront of the hottest battle and retire ye from him that he, he may be smitten and die. And we're going to talk to you this morning. Is how did we get to this point? How did we get right, to man. this point? The choir has already said, looking back <coughs> over my life. Looking back, how did we get here? Again, I want to give a shout out to our youth this morning for their portion of the service. And uh, particularly uh, to Jekaya as she came and read to read the scripture. And some of you may say, well, she had a lot of help. As a matter of fact, she didn't you didn't hear her say anything. But I want to let you know she stood there this we still have some adults that want to come stand with you this morning. Yeah, they won't stand with you in support. But she came, and you know why she came? Because we are training them. Yeah. 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 We got to start somewhere. Yeah. None of us, none of us came out of the womb singing, praying, and shouting. Yeah. Yeah. No one came out of the womb preaching, although there were some that was adult. The anointed in the womb. They did not come out preaching from the womb. They had to grow. They had to go and be trained, and they had to go through a training process. So I thank God for working with our youth this morning. How did we get to this point? A hundred and twenty some years. Anderson Chapel, soon you'll celebrate 119 years. It's 120, 119 years. It has taken us 119 years yes. to get to this point. Yes, yes. We've had some ups. Jesus. We've had some downs. Yes. I know you may say it's the same what I'm about to say, but we've had some highs. Yes. yes. And we've had some lows. Yes. yes. We've been talked about. Yeah. We've been criticized. Yeah. We have been abused. Yeah. We have been through the storm. Jesus. We have seen the sunshine. Yeah. Understand that there was a storm that passed through this area just on Friday night. Yeah. 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 I came through and I rode down the, one of the back roads uh, and I looked and said, where did all of this come from? Uh -huh. Leaves all down in the road. Came up to where, see where a tree had been fallen and it was cutting, uh, had been cut by a home ever the state or where the local. But all of this happens in our lives. Yes, yes, yes. And 119 yes. years, I promise you, at yes. chapel, there's been some storms yes. that have blown yes. this way. Yes. 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 Mother Debris, I see over in your neighbor's yard right beside your house, there's a tree that has fell over yeah. in the yard there. Yeah. These things happen yeah. when there's a storm come your way. Yeah. 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 But as long as you still stay, Jesus. you are able to rebuild and move forward. Yeah. 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 What I'm saying right now to us this morning, as long as we don't give up, yes. Yes. as long as we stay firmly grounded in the word of God, yes, yes. we'll move forward. Amen. Amen. These young people that's on this front row this yes. morning, they're here partially because of by biology and uh, time and and uh, but they are here through the prayers yes. 
of the saints. Yes. Yes. Grandma. Yes. Granddad. Yes. Aunt. Jesus. Uncle. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Deacon. Yes. Mother. Yes. Trustee. Yes. Members. Yes. Praying yes. for the Lord to send us yes. a blessing along the way. Jesus. Jesus. Now they're here. Yes. And they can draw more. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? By spreading the good news mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. But we got to focus on how we got here. Jesus. Jesus. And how we got here through all of our ups, yes. through all of our downs, yes. we must acknowledge that we're not perfect. Amen. We're not. Amen. For we have fallen short mm -hmm. of the glory of God. Yes. Yes. And it's by his grace and his mercy yes. that we're still here. Yes, God. I'm a scripture today from the book of 2 Samuel, mm -hmm. the 11th chapter, the 15th verse. We see that David who is now king of Israel. Yes, yes. David is writing a letter. And some of you know the background history, the background story. And I encourage you, if you don't know the background, if you don't know the history, if you don't know the story, go back and read the entire chapter of uh, Second Cam Samuel, the eleventh chapter, and see what's taking place here. Yeah. Yeah. There is a story and a background behind yes, all of this. Yeah. But the interesting thing here is that here is the king of Israel. Yeah. And David, the king, he writes a letter to the captain of his guard, to the leader of the army, to the commander-in-chief on the field, and he says to set Uriah in the hardest battle mm -hmm. and then turn your back on yes, him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have anybody ever had someone to turn their back on you? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Have you ever been in the midst of a struggle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you ever been in a contentious battle yes. and it yes. felt like those that was there that sent you in the battle that turned their backs on you? Yes. Yes. Here is the king mm. set him in the hardest battle. Mm. Yeah. Not just one mm. Mm. where he could possibly perish. Yes. But I want you to find a location where you know no. that when you sent him there, he won't return. Yes, yes. Set him in the hardest battle. Yes. And then turn your, turn your back. That he may be smitten mm -hmm. and die. How did the king of Israel, mm -hmm. David, mm -hmm. a shepherd's boy, mm -hmm. one who was anointed mm -hmm. king of Israel, mm -hmm. one who God appointed yes. and anointed, King of Israel. Mm -hmm. One who slew the giant Goliath. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. All with the sling stop shot and a little stone. Mm -hmm. How the one who said that you come with me with your sword and your shield, yes. but I come in the name yes. of the Most High God. How the one mm -hmm. who had this much confidence mm -hmm. This must faith. This must trust in God. Get to this point. How do we sing in the choir on Sunday morning? Stand in the pulpit on Sunday. Sit in the Amen corner. Sit in the pews on Sunday and shout all across the church. And on Monday morning, <laughs> let me back up. <laughs> when we walk out the door of the church, <laughs> sometimes even in the midst 
of the church. If you say the wrong thing, they will cuss you out. I'm not talking about something I heard. I'm not talking about a third hand account. But I say it with my own eyes. How do we get to this point? Well, David has an interesting story of his own. And David's story is David's story. But each one of you, each one of us, have our own story. David's story began with an innocent foyer to his rooftop. Mm -hmm. There on the top of that roof, mm -hmm. David's eyes fastened upon a beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men, we know the story. Jesus. Women, you know the story. Okay. The eye embraces. And instead of us yielding uh, not to temptation, we yield unto temptation. Yes, yes. So David, he sends messengers and he inquires as to who this beautiful lady is. They tell him that this is Bathsheba. You are Uriah's wife. All right, now David has already lusted in his heart. That's all he's saying. Lusted in his heart and he figured since he was already lusted this far, uh, he's king, he can take it a little farther. It's not like he didn't know who she was. She is the wife. Wasn't bad enough that she was a wife. But she is the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Who is out fighting your battle. You know sometimes those that are closest to you. That let you down. Sometimes it's those that you would never expect. Your eye is fighting a battle. And here is David. He has already sinned in his heart. Now he could just follow through on this lustful impulse. Ignoring every warning and way of escape that God has set before him. And it is true. That there is no temptation that has beset a man that God will not give you a way out. If you want. If you want. My wife has said a number of times about whenever she was in the club life and how she went out and the car wouldn't start. She found another way. If you want to go. Sometimes if you have to walk, yes. you go. Yes. But God gives you sign and gives you a way out. Yes. Yes. He took Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. But now notice now, Bathsheba now, Scripture does not say that there was any uh, force that was taken. Mm -hmm. It didn't say that he commanded that she come. It's that state to bring her, but she came without any intimidation. Mm -hmm. And whatever David asked, that's what she did. Mm -hmm. It wasn't through crap, it wasn't through violence, mm -hmm. but rather that she came at his request without hesitation mm -hmm. and offered no resistance to his desires. Mm -hmm. Now I understand he's the king. Mm -hmm. And I understand that the king has the power and authority. But, you know, I'm just saying that the scripture does not say mm -hmm. that she offered any resistance. Mm -hmm. 
Consequently, there is a regard of blame within her. But David is the king. Mm -hmm. So he knew what he did mm -hmm. was wrong. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. He laid with her and he knew it was wrong, yet he did it. It's hard to explain David's thinking because he wasn't thinking. He acted on feeling and impulse instead of thinking. Now, Dickie May, I understand David because sometimes we do things without thinking. We think, we, we think that we are thinking. We think that we can get away with this. We think that this is going to be good for us, but we don't understand the ramification of everything that's about to happen on what has See, because if David had thought about all of this, he would have seen that there was a cost so much greater than any that he wanted to consider at that time. If David only knew that this illicit pursuit of happiness would directly and indirectly result in an unwanted pregnancy, the murder of a trusted friend, uh, a dead baby, his daughter raped by his son, one son murdered by another son, a civil war led by one of his sons, a son who imitates David like a self-control, leading much of Israel away from God. How did we get here? Because of sin. We got here because we wanted our way, mm. and we don't care the consequences. Mm. Mm -mm. We'll pay it later in life. Jesus. But sometimes the payment later in life is too great for us. Yes. Yes. See, this same kind of ruin comes of adultery today. Jesus. We think about all those men and women because of wars. They have been taken from home and spend, and their children spend many of nights at home without daddy at home because of the wars that their fathers are fighting. But I'll share with you today, as I read, that but far more children go to bed without daddy in their house because of adultery. Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, it's hard this morning. Jesus. But how did we get here? At this moment, David agreed with the world's understanding of the purpose of sex, seeing it primarily as the pursuit of pleasurable experience. David had many wives, but David may never have really understood God's purpose for sex. To be the cement that helps bond together a one flesh relationship. See, at this point in time when David and Bathsheba comes together, the scripture says that she was cleansed mm -hmm. from her impurity. Yes. This confirms that Bathsheba had recently went through a cycle. Yes. And yes. she was not already pregnant mm -hmm. when David committed right. adultery. Amen. Amen. It seemed that David got away with his sin. But he and we can only think that if we believe that sin was something God wanted to keep from David, mm -hmm. David did something harmful and destructive to himself and others. Mm -hmm. And harms the destruction yes. will come of it. Yes. Just because David wasn't caught at the moment doesn't mean that he got away with it. You ought to look back over your life right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you wasn't caught. Yeah. Doesn't mean you got away with it. Yeah. See, because what's done in the dark, yeah. 
And God sees everything. That's not anything that you have ever done that God does not already Amen. know about it. Amen. As a matter of fact, when you are when you when you are afraid to come forward and tell God all about it, you're just fooling yourself because God already knows about it. God already knows what you have done. And he's just waiting for you to be man enough or woman enough to say, Father, forgive me. Amen. See, when David, but she was says word. I'm with the child. The wheels of David's mind begins to turn again. Uriah is at war. See, first thing that begins to turn, because the scriptures say that a man or woman that was caught in that, you know, they ought to be put to death. So he tries to hide mm -hmm. his original sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, this is why we have told many a times that when you tell a lie, one lie, you have to tell a Because mm -hmm. you got to cover it. You keep covering, you keep covering. Mm -hmm. David tries to cover it up. He sins for Uriah. Mm -hmm. If I could only but get Uriah back here. Yeah. He's going to spend some time with his wife. And when he spends some time with his wife, then I will be able to pass it off in the world with faith. Yes. That is, Uriah is the father. Mm -hmm. See, now we know as long as he's at war, mm -hmm. long as he never comes home, yes. as long as she's there by herself, Uriah will know that he's not the father. Yes. Yes. The world would know that Uriah is not the father. Yes. Yes. But here comes Uriah. And you know, sometimes, no matter how righteous we may think that we are, mm -hmm. there comes somebody in our lives who actually lived the life yes. Yes. that we say that we live. Mm -hmm. See, the whole concept of hiding our sin is deceptive. I was saying it's never hidden before God and only hidden with difficulty from our conscience. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sometimes we forget about it and someone reminds us our hidden sins hinders our fellowship with God mm -hmm. and others and it's a barrier to a spiritual life and power. Yes. The real question according to Rap is are we prepared to face sin? Not to discuss it with someone else's sin, yes. but to face our own sin. Yes. Yes. See, some of us, we say we're really willing to face sin, and we talk about everybody else. <laughs> there are some people that can give you a litany of everything you have ever done wrong in your life. <laughs> but when you start talking about theirs, we, we, well, we're not talking about that. Yes. 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 See, when you're willing to face sin, yes. You're really to talk about your own sin. Yes, right. And I think some eight years ago when I came here, I said, let me introduce you. My name is Malcolm Emmanuel Lewis, and I am a sinner yes. saved by grace. Yes. Thank God for saving a wretch yes. like me. Yes, so we have to face our own sin. The, the, the uh, J. Aaron Orr says the answer to the hidden sin is confession and repentance. To whom should we confess? The answer is in this question. Mm -hmm. Whom have we sinned against? Yes, yes. If you sin secretly, confess secretly. Yes. Admit it publicly that you need the victory, but keeping details to yourself. Jesus. You don't have to tell everything. Yes. But you can't acknowledge I'm a sinner. Yes, yes, yes. If you sin openly, yes. meaning if the world knows about it, yes. you need to confess openly yes. Yes. to remove yes. stumbling blocks yes. from yes. those yes. who have been hindered. Yes. 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 If you have sinned spiritually, yes. prayerlessness, mm. lovelessness, and unbelief, as well as other offspring criticism, then confess to the church that you have been a parent. Yes. 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 Right. 
whether you want to acknowledge or not. Yes, there are things in our lives that we do that hinders the growth of the church. Jesus. And we need to acknowledge it yes, Lord. and move on. Jesus. If we will but just acknowledge. As soon as, as we are conscious of our sins, the right thing to do is not to begin to reason with sin or to wait until we have brought ourselves into a proper state of heart about it, but to go at it at once and confess the transgression Jesus. unto the Lord. Yes, God. Yes. There and then, mm. wait here today. Mm. Mm. Also, and tomorrow, I will let you depart. Mm. Mm. This is what David tells Uriah. Mm. Mm. David brings Uriah home. Go, I'm going to see you back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Go down and spend time mm -hmm. with your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Your wife been there lonely. Mm -hmm. She needs you. Yeah. Go spend time with Uriah. See what David didn't understand that Uriah had something on the inside of him that was just yeah. a little deeper than the desires of the body. Yes. Yes. Uriah had something on the inside of him that said that my comrades are yes. out there in the midst yes. of a battle. Yes. They don't have a warm bed yes. to lie in. Yes. They don't have their wife to be with. Yes. And I'm out here and I'm here with my wife yes. and they are lying in the cold yes. underneath yes. the sky. Yes. And yes. I'm I to enjoy the comforts of my home yes. when my comrades yes. are fighting in a battle. Yes. He yes. did yes. not go into yes. the house yes. to sleep with his wife, but yes. he stayed on the doorstep, yes. church of a living God, yes. whereas David took her, uh, Bathsheba, Uriah's yes. wife, and laid with her, Uriah said, I will not lie with my own wife. Yes. Yes. The next day, David gets word that Uriah stayed on the doorstep. David began to get a little incense. He thought surely because she was a beautiful woman. She was so beautiful that I couldn't resist it. Surely her own husband couldn't resist. But Uriah slept outside. He said, I want you to go back and wait one more day. And tomorrow you can go back to the battle. Uriah went home. David had a plan mm -hmm. to get him drunk. Yes. See, because if he wouldn't do it sober, mm -hmm. maybe when he was a little drunk, yes. Yes. he would do it yes. then. Yes. Looking back over your life, mm -hmm. some of you remember that story. Yes. What you wouldn't do when you were sober, you did right. when you were drunk. Yes. But yes. church, you're yes. a living God. I heard somebody say that the wine only brings out what's on the inside. And if that's true, then what was on the inside of Uriah yes. was righteousness. Yes. Yes. Because Uriah went home yes. and he would not sleep with his yes. wife. Yes. He stayed yes. on the outside. Yes. Church of a living yes. God. What I'm trying to say, if it's inbred on the inside of yes. you, church, we only get the word of God. Yes. He right. down yes. in our heart. Yes. For Jesus said, it's not what goes into the yes. body that destroys the body, yes. but it's what comes out of the church of a living God. Church of a living God. David got really incensed now. Uriah didn't sleep with his wife. There's no way that he can pass this off as Uriah's child. Church of the living God. So David said the best thing I can do right now is to get rid of Uriah and then I'll take Bathsheba for my wife and then I'll make myself look good in the community. This man's uh, this, this woman's husband was killed in the war but the king has stepped up and given her a place in his house. Church of a living God. Sin will make you do some crazy thing. Sin will make you do some stupid thing. Sin will make you think you're right when you're so far down the rabbit hole that you can't find your way out. But look at David right now. He resists down 
and he writes a letter. Yes. He writes a letter. He begins to pen this letter. I know the scripture right here says yes. he wrote a letter and it sounded pretty simple. Yes. But if you give me a time in my homiletical yes. imagination, David sits down and he writes a letter. He said, I'm sending Uriah back to you. I want him to go into battle. I want you to find the hardest battle. I don't want a little bit of fight. I want you to find the hardest battle. I want you to make sure that this man is in the midst of the battle. And when he get there, retreat, turn your back, that he may die. But there is a problem with that, church. That's a problem, Mr. Howard. When you try to kill your enemy, All right. others may die with them. Look at the scripture. Verse 16 said, and when it came to pass, when Joab received Observe the city. He assigned Uriah a place where he knew that violent <coughs> men were. And the men of the city went out and fought with Joab. And there fell some of the people of the servants of David. And Uriah the high Hittite died all. David got rid of Uriah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and took Bathsheba <coughs> to be wife. Jesus. But what about all those other men? Uh -huh. yes. All those yes. other women yes. who was now widows, yes. whose children was now fatherless, yes. all because of David's sin. Yes. What do you do? Affects others. Affects others. Yes. Yes. And when you don't realize that, it tears apart communities. Yes. 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 David was only thinking about himself at this point in time. Yes. Of course, yes, there was going to be casualties of war. We knew that there was going to be a war out there. It was one thing for them to go into battle and fight. But it's a total another thing when you place them in the midst of a wall where you knew that they would shoot down with arrows all because you want to get rid of one man. You know, Uriah was a good example of how Christians should conduct themselves. As fellow soldiers in the spiritual battle, rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind one, one to another. David was drunk with lust and he slept with Bathsheba. Then he, he tried to make Uriah drunk with wine to bring about the same yes. result. Yes. But the reality of it is, and watch this, David was a better servant mm. than he was a king. Yes. This is what Trap said. David was a better servant than he was a yes. king. How, how do you say that? Because David was King David, and we keep talking about King David. But watch this. David refused mm. to lay a hand <coughs> upon God's anointing. He had opportunity to kill Saul, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but wouldn't do it. But when he was overcome with lust yeah. and sin and power, he killed Uriah. Mm -hmm. Church of the living God, how did we get here? How did we get to the point that we are in in our lives? As the choir sang, as I look back over my life, and I think about all 
that I've done. I can truly say that the Lord has been good to me. Church of the living God, the reality of it is we have earned. We have earned death. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. How did we get here? We have gotten here because we are sinners and are wretched under. David's story is recorded not so much as everybody can just look back and talk about how sinful David was, but David's story is recorded to remind us that we, no matter how high we climb, we are yes. subjects just like to the yes. like offenses. Yes. And we yes. need to yes. understand that yes. David did something that we ought to be, stand within ourselves. Yes. We ought to look at Psalms 51 and we ought to fall down and say, Lord, well, I am a sinner and a wretch undone. Yes. Lord, yes. renew in me a yes. new heart, a yes. clean heart, one that will do thy yes. will. Church of a living God, we need to repent. We yes. need to ask God to forgive us. We need to confess our sins. We yes. need to tell the world that I've fallen short of the glory of God and church of a living God. Please don't repeat my story every Sunday that you see my face. Please don't tell me that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner, but help me to live a righteous life. Church of a living God, pray with me. Talk with me. And church, if you pray with me and you talk with me, if you encourage me along the way, I'm going to pray with you and talk with you because we realize that we all have four Falling short, and I'm pressing towards the mark of the higher calling. I'm looking for Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of my faith. Yes, I've sinned. Yes, I've fallen short. But I fell down on my knees and I say, Father, forgive me. And God said, That whosoever shall believe in their heart and confess. With God yes, yes, yes. shall be saved. Yes, yes. Church of the living God. Thank you. Lord. I'm not your judge and your jury. Mm -hmm. But I can see the fruits that yes. you bear. Yes. Right. Yes. So you might fool me. Mm -hmm. But don't think you fool God. Yes. Yes. God knows all about it. Yes. Yes. What I'm trying to say this morning, how did we get here? Mm -hmm. We got here because we have sinned and fallen yes, short yes. of his glory. Yes. But also we are here at Anderson Chapel this morning because God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. And whosoever shall believe in him yes. shall not perish but have yes. life everlasting. Yes. He gave his son and the son died for your sins and my sin. He died on the cross. They nailed him with nails in his hand, nails in his feet. They pierced him in his side. They placed a crown of thorns on his head. A man who knew no sin. A man who prayed in the garden, Father, if it be thy will, we move this bitter cup. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. He did all of this for sinners like David, for sinners like me, for sinners like you. Church of a living God, down through 40 and two generations, Jesus the Christ came. He died. He gave up the cross. Those there yes. on the cross. Say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Yes. They laid them in a borrowed tomb. Yes. He stayed there all night Friday yes. night. Yes. He stayed there all yes. night Saturday yes. night. But thanks be to God, the early yes. on Sunday morning, yes. he got yes. up. He got up with all power in his hand. And because he got up, he got up. Yes. we are here this yes. morning. Yes. We are here Amen. because Christ paid the price for our yes. sin. Yes. How did we get here? Mm -hmm. Sin took us to a place that we ought not be. Yes. But Jesus, Jesus would take us to a place prepared for us. Yes. Amen. He said, Behold, I go to prepare a place for yes. you. That where I am, then you may be also. Yes. He's coming back. Yes. Looking for a church with our Father. Yeah, right, yeah. Will you accept him? Jesus. Will you accept him as your Lord and Savior? Mm -hmm. The doors of the church are always Jesus. open. Yes. If there's one this morning, we just extend an invitation to you this morning to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Thank you. Don't acknowledge that I'm a sinner and a wretch of death. Yes, yes. Will you come? 
Will you come this morning? As the choir should give us the selection of their show. Yes. I know I didn't hear any of you shouting this morning. But maybe yes. that's because you received the word this morning. Yes. Yes. And you think about all that you've been through. Jesus. And you realize that it was sin that tore my life down. Yes. And now what I need yes. to do is ask God to restore. Restore. Create in me a new one. Restoring to me the joy of my salvation. Yes. And I want to let you know that if you seek him, if you sincerely seek him, he will give you the joys you. of your life. You. Come on, Lord. Oh, I need a breakthrough. Let's rise. Oh, oh, I need a breakthrough.